Hi guys, it's Marissa. Today I'm going to be t showing you how to tone your hair using the Wella T18 toner um, and Salon Care developer. The supplies you'll need today is Salon Care 20 volume cream developer or another brand of cream developer, Color Charm T18 lightest ash blonde um, toner, a couple cups and stirring utensils. Basically, I bleached my hair a few days ago. This isn't freshly bleached, but it works on any level of hair, basically. Um, and it makes your hair go from yellow to um, sort of ashy gray or whatever. However long you leave it on, it makes it more ashy. So if you leave it on for... 20 minutes, just subtle. If you leave it on for 30 minutes, it might be like really out there, almost gray. So right now I'm gonna do um, a little bit of sectioning just with my front part of the hair. And I'll show you the supplies um, in a separate clip. Here is the supplies. There's the lawn care developer, Wella T18, and some mixing bowls. Um, so here's how I do this. It's two parts developer to one part color charm. I just pour that all in there. And it's two parts to one part, and you pour that in there. So, here we go. We have our solution, and we're going to stir it up. Until it makes a creamy texture. You want a creamy texture, so you want to stir it up pretty good. And I like to let this sit for a little while to develop to a purple color before using it. Should be a good amount of mixing there. And I'll show you the next step. And I already mixed the toner, and I'll show you a clip of that. Right now I'm going to get my gloves on. And this stuff does stain you, so you want to wear a shirt or clothes that you don't care about. And just try not to get it on you if you can help it, right? I'm struggling to get the gloves on, as usual. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is show you my mixture. It turned purple and I stirred it with this rod here. And it's one part to two parts um, volume and toner. Um, I usually use a brush, but I don't really have one with me right now. And so I'm probably gonna just use my hands. BRB. Alright, I've got some things. First thing is the scissors. It can divide your hair, like, um, it just divides sections. Second thing, I got some brushes. These are, um, some plain brushes for painting, but they work well on the hair as well. So, we're gonna try using one of these brushes to brush it on, like, see that, how that goes on there? And you want to evenly distribute um, the toner of, along your hair and start at the roots, I would say. But it's all up to you how much you want toned at different levels of your hair. Um, so yeah, this brush isn't the best brush. My other brush was used for bleach and I have like a thicker brush for that. You really would want one that has 
wider angle. So what I'm gonna do is probably just use my gloves to distribute this along this part of my hair right here. Um, so just, yeah, grab and coat. Grab and coat. Work it in there. Okay, I'm gonna time lapse this bit here and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm done putting the toner on. I used every last drop of it. I could have probably used a little bit more toner because I have a lot of hair. Um, well, now it's up in an updo. I could put a little bag over it and I'm gonna wait um, about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's dry. And I hope that um, this has been helpful so far. So. Let me know what you think of my style of toning my hair in the comments. Um, I'm going to put this bag on top of my head right now. I'm going to chill out for a little bit now. Just chill. This has been stressful. Like if you agree. <laughs> All right, hey guys, some time has passed. My hair is dry now. It's now an ashy color. The tones, the brassy tones are gone. This is what it looks like. I'll flip you over to the mirror here. Um, that is what the finished hair looks like. It's pretty good, I think. Um, and I will Catch you in the next video, so make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!